Good morning, students. Today we are going to learn about Australia. In this module, we are going to learn about the size, location and boundaries of Australia. Australia is relatively young as a country, but it is a very ancient land. It is often referred to as an island continent and it is the only of it, one of its kind to be occupied by a single country. It is the smallest continent and the sixth largest country in the world. Along with New Zealand and its neighboring islands, it is called Australasia or Oceania. Australia was first sighted by a Dutch navigator whose name was William Jans Wan. He first reached Australia in the year 1606. However, during that time, the Dutch were not ready to colonize Australia. In the year 1770, a British seaman whose name was Captain James Cook reached the eastern part of Australia and named the part as New South Wales. Australia was completely colonized by the year 1829. However, one must know that Australia was inhabited by the Aborigines or the natives for nearly 40,000 years who put a stiff resistance to the foreigners. But ultimately, they were defeated and the entire continent was colonized by the year 1829. Britain established its control over Western Australia and the entire continent became a part of the British colony. In the year 1850s, Many Europeans migrated to Australia in search of gold. And this led to a large number of people to come from Europe and settle in parts of Australia. On January 1901, a federation of six colonies was formed and the Commonwealth of Australia was established as a Dominion Republic. Dominion means a country that was part of the British Empire but had its own government. So in the year 1901, Australia's map looked like this with Western Australia, South Australia, which was later divided into two, Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria. However, with the passage of time and in the year 1986, the Australian Act was passed and all constitutional ties between Australia and Britain ended. Australia could henceforth manage its own political affairs without any interference from Britain. Now let's look at the location of Australia. Australia lies entirely in the southern hemisphere and in the eastern hemisphere. 
So if you look into to the map of the world, you will find that Australia lies completely to the south of the equator. That is why it is said to be lying in the southern hemisphere. And also it completely is found in the eastern part of the world. Eastern part means that all those countries which are found to the east of the prime meridian. Therefore, Australia lies completely in the southern and the eastern hemisphere. The continent stretches from 10 degree south to 44 degree south latitude and 112 degree east longitude to 154 degree east longitude. The Tropic of Capricorn passes almost through the center or the middle of the continent. The Indian Ocean washes its shores in the west. The Pacific Ocean washes the coastal areas in the east and the southern ocean or the Antarctic Ocean is found in the southern part of Australia. Australia's neighbouring countries includes Malaysia, Indonesia, the Timor Islands, Papua New Guinea and several islands which includes the Solomon Islands, the Vanuatu, New Colony. Caledonia, which lies in the Northeast, East and the South Pacific Ocean respectively. In the Southeast, the Tasman Sea separates New Zealand from Australia. Here we have the Tasman Sea, which separates New Zealand from Australia. The Bass Strait separates Tasmania from Australia. And in the north, the Arafura Sea separates Indonesia from Australia and the Timor Sea is found between East Timor Islands and Australia. So in this module, we have learnt in detail about the location of Australia and its boundaries as well as its neighbouring countries. In the further lessons which we will be learning, we will focus on other features of Australia. So that is what we have enough time for today. Thank you.